Hi Pisces, it's Sia Paxi here, and I'm doing your love bite for the month of March through April 2018, mid-March through mid-April. So, um, I've already shuffled and laid your cards out. We're going to be getting cards from the uh, <laughs> Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, and also cards from the um, Mermaid and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. And uh, also a card from the Journey to Love um, deck by Alina Fairchild, Rasuli, and Richard Carr. All right. And we'll see what other else we're led to get. So, starting with your first card here. The first five cards here is about you, Pisces. And the second five cards will be about your partner or something the Spirit wants you to know about this particular situation. Okay, first card here, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is saying that you're being patient about something because separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So if you've been waiting, is your, is your partner away? Are they in the military or away in school or working or are you separated by time and land hmm next card says playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so this is telling me that you have been being playful and that you try to make a positive experience out of whatever time you do get to spend with your partner it could also mean that you would like to have some playfulness, that you would like some uh, playtime, <laughs> like a play date with your partner because you haven't seen them in a while and or been with them in a while, and uh, you're looking forward to that. The next card that came here for you was keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this was in the reverse. So this is telling me that you that this is the person that you always expected to be with that there's no need to keep an open mind because this is this is exactly who you manifested this is the person that you always wanted to be with that's what it's telling me now some other readers may not see that but that's the message that I've gotten on this card this reading and a previous reading I did yesterday you know who this is and this is who you've always wanted so you're not keeping an open mind about this you are focused <laughs> and the next card here is passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so maybe you'll get your chance for some playfulness but whatever it is that this person and you feel passionate about this relationship with this person and you think he's worth wait he or she's worth waiting for even if you're away from each other playfulness playfulness could also be talking about maybe this is someone that you've known uh, in your youth maybe you grew up together too okay um but it, it's basically saying that you want to play. You want to have some time. You want to let your hair down, okay? And nothing wrong with that. The next five cards here are either how your partner feels about you or what it is the spirit would like you to know about the situation. Okay, so the first card came up for them. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that fell beneath the worth waiting for for you. So they're telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. Next card here was healing family issues. And that fell beneath your separation card. So while you're apart, they're working on what they need to be working on. Well, 
All four of these cards are in the upright so far. So they're healing their family issues and you're waiting. The next card here says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. But this is in the reverse. This is what it looks like in the upright, right? And this is in the reverse. And that fell underneath your card that says playfulness. So maybe you haven't been able to get your partner to agree to um, pencil in some time for the two of you. Because they're dealing with their family issues. They don't have time to work on this partnership or they haven't found time. The next card here said honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. But this was in the reverse also. And that fell underneath the card for you in the reverse that was keep an open mind. Are they working hard? working very hard between the family issues and their work and that's why it's hard for you to keep an open mind because you haven't had any time alone with them they haven't had any time with you so you're starting to lose hope even though they're asking you to stay optimistic last card for them came up children children are a factor in your your love life is being affected by children. So maybe there's something going on with their children and that's the issue. Why they can't seem to find time to work on this relationship with you because they're dealing with something that has to affect their children. And that fell into your card of passion. So their children are very important to them. As um, sure yours would be too. Okay, so some things have to take a back seat, but it's worth waiting for. And you have to stay optimistic. Pisces, don't give up your hope. And that's what I feel you're you're at, and um, your partner's trying to tell you. They're working, they're not trying to, you know, they're working on this. They're working on this. Even if you're feeling neglected. And the, the reason is that it's a family, they're healing family issues that have to do with their children. Hmm. Another card had come up in this reading on an 11th card and it says this could be the one <laughs> you have already met the romantic partner you seek so that's where you get this keep an open mind you're focused and spirit is saying that you're right to be now the bottom of the deck for this original reading Originally, the bottom of the deck for this was finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I think it's saying here, uh, Pisces, this was the overall energy. So between working and what's going on in their home life that has to do with their children, they're just, I get the feeling like they're being pulled so many places and they don't have time to do a whole lot of um, playing <laughs> a whole lot of passionate playing which is what you are looking for right playfulness passion we know what you're up to but they're just they're busy it's not that they're busy like 
this is serious. They're busy with something that's very heavy. And they just want you to hold on. So... All right, let's see what other messages we can get here from the um, Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations to avoid negativity. Cheating. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Positive energy. Positive thinking. And the next card here was morning affirmations say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation so if you'd like to help your partner first of all praying for them while they're going through this pray for them to be strong pray for them to have clarity white a white candle you can light a white candle for him or her um keep that white candle burning for them uh, a blue candle also for health and clarity at this time might be helpful and get some affirmations going all right say something positive each morning to open up the gates of manifestation so you can do regular prayers or you could just say positive words or you know send out into the universe positive thoughts and positive energy for your friend all right okay let's see what do i want to do i think i want to see about morning affirmations because i think that's pretty important hmm. This card asks you to begin each day with positive intentions and affirmations. Before rising from your bed, spend a few moments thinking about your desires. Don't worry about how to bring them into physical form. Just allow yourself to imagine that they've already manifested. Then make one or more positive affirmations relating to your desires. When you open your eyes, write down these affirmations. It's a good idea to keep a pad and a pen by your nightstand. We've talked about that previously. During the day, look at the affirmations and say them mentally or verbally. So write them down, carry them with you, and sometime during your day, think about it, repeat it, look at it again. They have those uh, daily word books that are given out by um, uh, the Daily Word has a, a, a book that they pamphlet that they send out. I think it's monthly and you get all these affirmations that you can say. You can find an old one. It doesn't matter. They're positive affirmations. Um, do your rosary. Those of you who uh, practice Catholicism, I guess that that would be uh, way to help with positive affirmations but you can uh, get the until today deck by Jan Van Zandt and I'm not a paid sponsor or anything I'm just saying you can get these cards like these that have positive affirmations on them just pick a card a day also the until today um, book there's a book that goes with that well it doesn't go with it but by the same author and it has a, a affirmation for each day of the week. I mean, each day of the year, actually, from uh, the beginning to the end. And you can pick up that book and read that passage and work on that affirmation or work on whatever the suggestion is for the day. It's a very um, beautiful, beautifully written book. And um, that would be helpful, too. So anything like that, you know. Uh, they used to have a telephone service when people had landlines that you could call a number or they would call you every morning instead of your alarm. It would be an affirmation. And uh, you would get that phone call every morning. It would tell you something positive, and that would be how you would um, start your day. So things like that would be very helpful for both of you because 
it'll help you take your mind off of missing them and you'll be sending positive energy out to them so that when you do talk to them you know you're in a good place and hopefully they're in a good place all right very very good so next we'd like to get a card for you Pisces from the journey of love by Alana Rasuli and uh, Richard Cohen so let's see what affirmations do we need for Pisces okay hmm self-initiation number 12 12 is 1 plus 3 is 1 plus 2 is 3 right so this is about the creator this is about God self-initiation let's see what that's talking about um, I want to put it where I can see it with the word while I read it all right self-initiation okay let's see what that's talking about okay <laughs> you're being touched by a wave of your own light and motion Can you feel the blessings and love that are flowing towards you from within you in an upsurging wave of love? This is your own pure divine nature. You can choose to empower another as a carrier of your own divinity, of course. And sometimes if you are not quite ready to recognize your own divine essence, this needs to be. Yet at any moment, you can choose to recognize that it is you who are initiating yourself into love, that you are the being of light, the divine, that is drawing you forward into yourself. At any moment, you can choose to recognize yourself. Will this be such a moment? This oracle holds a message for you. There are many teachers on this path some humble some wise some great companions on your life journey and some who will enter in and out of your life quickly perhaps imparting a helpful word or teaching you a more challenging lesson about trusting and relying upon your own wisdom the greatest teacher however is life itself you can trust in your own experiences and know that this is the divine spark within you the life within you that is the one true teacher who carries you home in awakened reunion with the divine how easy to love the words flow when it is right i dare not tell you hmm. is saying that you don't even have to have any formal affirmations you can write your own you can manifest peace and tranquility for your partner and for you during this time by positive affirmations by understanding what it is that you're supposed to be learning at this time of waiting what is the purpose of you having all this patience what are they testing what are they showing you that you can rely upon yourself that you don't need anybody else to affirm you that you 
are the healer, that you have the divine light, and that you can be a leader in this situation for your partner right now who is going through some things and could probably use some positive reaffirming and less pressure. That's not for everybody, that's for somebody. <laughs> so, let's try to take it upon yourself. Take it upon yourself, Pisces, to initiate a new way of dealing with the situation and see if it doesn't change in a positive way for you. Instead of being... I'm not saying that you are, but for some people, instead of being sad and putting pressure on them, make it your business to pray for them, to pray for them to be strong, to pray for them to see clearly what's going on around them, to protect them from people who may be asking too much of them and to ask them to be strong enough to know when they need to take a break so not only being the person that is yearning for them but also the person who's learning things for them and sending them positive energies they may not know these things that you're finding out, but you can pray for them to know them. You can send that information to them through your thoughts, through texts. You can forward them the, the same affirmation that you're doing in the morning. You can send it to them on a the text so that maybe you all can... Do the affirmations together, maybe not at the same time, but at least you know on this day we're both looking at the same thing. We're both on the same page with this affirmation. And that way they're reassured that you do have their back. And you can be reassured that they're tuned into you too with all that's going on. When they look at that text, whenever they look at it, whenever they look at it, they'll be reminding them of your place in their heart and in their life and in their place in yours. That you do have their back. That you are on their team. And that you are trying to stay optimistic, which is what they want you to do. And that you know that this relationship is worth waiting for. So, well, I would try it this way. Can't hurt. Might help. <laughs> well, we tried that way. Instead of um, worrying, just try to focus on positive this. Positive words, positive thoughts, positive energy towards them and their situation and for yourself. If they're having problems with their kids, Throw some positive energy, energy that way. Maybe there's something you can help them with. With that. You know, as far as uh, advice or something like that. You never know. Have you asked? Or have you just been sullen about it? Like, oh, kids. But have you tried to help? Have you tried to give some advice? Have you offered to pick a kid up from school or do something. I don't know what your situation is, but is if there's a way for you to help load and, um, help unload this burden from them, are you willing to do it? The same. If it's possible, you know. If it's not a third party situation, I mean, not everybody's in a third party situation who has family issues to deal with. There could be other things that are keeping you all separated. So, you know, I mean, there could be, a, a, you know, away for a minute, 
And then that's a different thing. But you still can give them positive affirmations whenever you talk to them. Try to mention that instead of all the other stuff that you talk about. You know, oh, I was thinking about you today and I read this thing. And I just wanted to share it with you. Listen, that might not go over that well all the time, but something to think about introducing. If they're in the military or, like I said, if they're away, write them a letter. Write an affirmation under your signature at the end, something positive that they can remember. Think of ways to bring some positive energy, positive energy, positive energy into this relationship. You can do it, Pisces. Of everyone, of all of the signs, <laughs> you can do it. You're good with spirituality. You're good with music and poetry and creativeness and things like that you can do it you can find a way to help in that way and help yourself even if you can't help them help yourself lift up your spirits keep yourself from being idle because we know what happens to idle hands right <laughs> all right let's see if we can get one more card from you from the numerology deck and that is by Michelle Buchanan mm. self-initiation take charge of this situation Pisces you can do it moderation number 14 and one in four is five which is creativity like I just said, this is talking about, you know, not overindulging in anything, overeating, over drinking, smoking, gossiping, crying, feeling sorry for yourself, sending negative energy onto this situation. You have to be careful what you think because it'll manifest itself. When you catch yourself thinking something, change that thought as quickly as you can. This card serves as a gentle and loving reminder that behaviors, negative behaviors, such as overeating, drinking, too much alcohol, smoking, over-medicating, taking drugs, overspending, excessive exercising, consuming too much coffee or sugar, gambling, engaging in aggressive or abusive behavior. All these things can delay the manifestation of your dreams. This card also indicates a need to balance your desire for freedom and adventure with your responsibilities because by honoring your commitment, you will prevent the buildup of karmic debt. By choosing to live as your higher self rather than giving in to your lower tendencies, you align with source and with the intentions of your soul. Everyone has a shadow side that needs to be acknowledged and embraced and loved. But when you learn to rise above it, you can make your dreams come true. Have the courage to seek professional or divine assistance if needed. You don't have to go it alone. You can call upon your heavenly helpers for inner strength and courage. The affirmation is, with temperance and moderation, I create balance in my life. Temperance and moderation create balance in my life. You can say that every morning. Temperance and moderation create balance in my life. That's simple and that's easy. And you can repeat that during the day. I kind of like that. Temperance and moderation create balance in my life. That's nice. And that may be 
all you need. Patience. Moderation. And I know you've been waiting because that was the first card that came up and you wanted to make sure that it was straight. And you have been waiting because you believe that this relationship is worth waiting for. And I believe it is too for you. But in the meantime, do some positive affirmations to reinforce the fact that this relationship is worth waiting for and you are worth waiting for. Because you're the prize too. Don't think that it's just that person that's the prize here. You're the prize. Consider that. See if we can get any messages from the Iyama Van Zant deck in regards to Pisces in this relationship or any other information that we need. Mm, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-March to mid-April 2017. Thank you. Card. Really, guys? Okay, four cards, really? Okay. God can only do for me what God can do through me. Until today, you may have been directing your own life and attempting to produce your own blessings. Just for today, ask for direction. Open yourself up to guidance. Give up the need to have things go your way. Open yourself up to God's way. That may have nothing to do with this. This may be for somebody else. They gave me four. So apply. Let it fly. If, they ain't got, if it's not about you, don't worry about it. But these are very good affirmations. Or maybe they wanted to give you examples of affirmations. <laughs> that might have been what happened. Just now, Pisces. Because I got four cards here. I live my life as freely as I choose. I live my life as freely as I choose. Until today, you may have been living your life under the impression that everyone is watching you. Just for today, live life like nobody else in the world is watching you or cares what you are doing. I say. Next card here is, I accept and acknowledge the truth. Until today, you may have engaged in self-destructive behavior to avoid acknowledging the truth. The truth. You are a chosen one. Just for today, activate the truth in your consciousness. Accept the fact that you are important. Positive affirmations. And the next one here is, I may be blocking myself from receiving more than I'm holding on to. I may be blocking myself from receiving more than I'm holding on to. Until today, you may have been holding on to things for fear that they would not be replaced in your life. Just for today, imagine what your life would be like if you were to receive something better than what you're holding on to right now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's something you need to ask yourself also, Pisces, in this situation. Is what you're losing, the time you're losing waiting? Are you going to get more? Is it going to be worth it? It says it's worth waiting for. That's what you believe. But maybe it's not about waiting for this person and this relationship. Maybe 
that waiting is blocking what truly is meant for you to have. That's why positive affirmations will be helpful because it will break that stalemate that you may be in right now and open you up to other possibilities. I'm just saying, it's not for everybody, it is for somebody. If you're at the point where you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm all tapped out, and you're not trying to stay, you know, in this spot, staying optimistic about your love life doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be optimistic about this particular situation. There may be something out there that is more suited for you, that is not full of these family issues and the separation and this these children and all of that. If that's not where you're at, then that's not where you're at. You gotta think about it and say, well, even if everything's straightened out right now, do I want this? Or these issues that I really wanna deal with in my life? Even though you may want that person, but that person comes with family and friends and baggage of their own, the same way you got baggage. I mean, what if you waited all of this time for this thing to, for your way to be clear to be together? And then they decided, you know what, they don't really like you that much, or, or y'all don't get along that well, or you don't like him that much, or maybe his feet stink, or so I don't know, just saying. <laughs> Think about it. How much are you willing to... How much energy are you really willing to put in and for how much longer? If you know that you have given it your uh, uh, the college try, you know, like you, you've been a ride or die, maybe there's a reason for you to be separated, maybe. Maybe it's not that, you know, you're trying to manifest being together and learning and growing. Maybe it's just that this is not the person for you and the universe is trying to save you from yourselves. If you don't see a light at the end of that tunnel, then maybe, that might be. The moderation. Moderation in the sense of enough. Too much over overdoing it, over waiting, overcompensating, giving too much. I'm just saying. <laughs> Somebody needed to hear that. So take that into account. Anyway, I hope you haven't, you're not going to abandon me now, Pisces, because I'm not abandoning you. I hope that this reading resonated with someone out there. And if it did, please make a comment, uh, like, share, and um, share it with other people who you know are Pisces. And uh, please send me an email, let me know what's going on if you don't want to, you know, share with the entire community. We understand. If you have a question that you'd like to ask me, I'm on the Instago app, and uh, I'll have that description, that uh, link in the description. And then you can ask me a question. All right. Um, you can also let me know if you're interested in a personalized reading, and uh, I'll get back to you about that also. All right. So Pisces, I will be seeing you all middle of the month for your love bite in April. And the uh, general readings are up right now, so go check it out, all right? And I'll be talking to everybody soon. All right, love you guys. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, your shares, your likes, your comments. I enjoy reading and uh, hearing from you guys all the time, all right? So thanks very much, and I will talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.